Okay, I thought I would start with this rock here. And I like to brush mix to create my colors. So I just used a little bit of the blue and some white to give me a, a sky color. And then I'll go back with a little of the full strength blue and kind of frame the the top. I'll probably have to touch it up again once that's dry. But that lays in my my sky color. Now I'm always in a dilemma about what color I want to paint my building, so I never know for sure all the old barns we have around here on the farm are falling in but they're varying colors of grays and browns and just old wood <laughs> look so I try to kind of emulate that as best I can so once I get something that kind of looks like old wood, I stick with it. I'm using my favorite color to paint roofs with, which is burnt sienna. And when I first base coat it on, I mix a little white with it so that gives me better coverage and then when I go back and strengthen with the full strength burnt sienna my colors will lay in better and I'm just using an old I think this was a quarter inch angle brush that I used to use for a lot of my side loaded stuff and now it's my go-to brush for my for my base coating so now I want to this is just laying in the tree line back here so that it gives me an area and idea of exactly where that section of trees it's going to be and then I'm going to take some darker green and come in from the bottom and it's just kind of I call it plants the trees in the ground somewhat a little bit of a technique I do when I do my little watercolor paintings. I put paint just on the like the pointed or tip area of the the brush so that I can kind of build the layers like I want them. And then I'll go back and redo the top section when all of that gets good and dry. Let's see, the sky might be dry enough to add a little more dark in it. Yeah. And then that way it'll kind of frame the, the top of the rock painting a little bit. And then I'll add some clouds once that dries completely. roadway type look right there at the where the barn door will go 
and still not sure what I want to do as far as adding some flowers so to come in with another layer it's gonna be a little just enough lighter than that first layer I can Get it laid in and then when I add the highlights to it it'll separate the the difference and then I think here on the bottom I'm just going to lay all this in in green for now so then when I add my foliage I've already got that dark green there for a base coat area. Okay, I'll come back when all this dries and do some detail work. 